Hello everyone, I'm Andres from the DevOps team here at Collate, and I'm going to talk to you about our official Terraform module to deploy open metadata on AWS Elastic Kubernetes service. Uh, you can see my screen, right? Yes, thanks. Okay. So using this uh, new goodie is the easiest way to follow the steps you can find on our official documentation in the Kubernetes deployment section for EKS. Let's start from the beginning. Where can you find this uh, module? Uh, you can find it uh, on the open metadata space in the Terraform registry. Uh, as always, the code is hosted on GitHub on a public repository. It's in the, its early stages, and we are eager to see your contributions and filing issues and submitting pull requests to expand and improve it. Let me jump quickly on a on a quick demo. Uh, we will come back to the to the, the documentation later. Uh, with this Terraform code, I've deployed my open metadata application uh, using the 1.5.12 version. Uh, here. I just ran Terraform init to init the, the module and I've created uh, to take advantage of the time uh, our application and it's running now in the in a cluster that I already have deployed. Let me use port forwarding to access the, the application and let's check that it's well, I'm going to use the default login credentials. And let's see here that we have the 1.5.12 version. Let me do a quick check that everything is going nice. All right, it seems. So now I what I'm going to showcase is how to upgrade to the latest version that we have. So we can close this and uh, here. Uh, I'm going to check that I didn't forget uh, running anything or I don't have any drift before updating the the code. Okay, here we see that there's no trick. We don't have changes to be applied. And I'm going to uh, install the latest version from our module. Okay, here, let me show you again the change. Uh, with this constraint, I'm going to uh, install the latest version that we have on 1.6. That should be 1.6.1. Here in the as soon as Terraform uh, finished, we will see here in the namespace that new pods are spawned, and once they are ready, uh, it will start replacing the old ones, and the upgrade should be done with zero downtime. Let's give Terraform a bit of time. Well, uh, we go back to the documentation here. If we scroll down a bit, we can find the deployment strategies that we have supported for each component. Uh, please notice that open metadata can only be deployed using our official Helm chart. Um, using Helm as the provisioner is the default option for all components, and it's ideal for development environment or quickly trying out our product. For production, we recommend using AWS for all possible components. This option may make use of AWS, sorry, AWS managed services for databases and open search domain. And the last option uh, is to deploy open metadata using existing resources, such as your own databases, open search domain, or Airflow service. You can choose the combination that fits better your needs from this matrix. However, if you uh, if you use uh, an existing Airflow installation, it must be fully operational as the module won't take care of the Airflow database in that case. 
Here you can find also some more examples on how to use uh, for AWS for all components with a minimal setup relying on our default values. Uh, also providing all the infrastructure, the, all the parameters for the components if you already have it, uh, using existing as uh, provisioning. Uh, scrolling a bit down, you can find a complete example that will deploy open metadata from scratch, not only the application, but also the additional supporting infrastructure, like a VPC, the entire cluster with the nodes, so a metric server to check the metrics of the cluster. And this is great to try it out from scratch uh, without needing to write code. It's just coming here, set your provider and running Terraform in it and apply. Uh, then also here, uh, you can find links to all the documentation generated by Terraform Docs. I'm sure that all fellow DevOps from other companies will love to, to check this. And uh, here you, you can see also some other features that this module has, like adding extra environment variables from uh, just setting them, or you can use this other parameter to uh, add extra environment variables from Kubernetes secrets. Um, let's see how this is doing. Okay. Here we see that we have two bots for open metadata. The others, have, it's almost a replace it all, Airflow. So once this is uh, ready to go, uh, it will be terminating the other one. So we, I think we came just in time. So now that is terminating this and the other, the new one uh, that is being running for uh, three minutes, uh, it's running. I think we can go and check how is it doing. Let's log in and let's see that we upgraded our open metadata application in less than five minutes to our latest version. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty straightforward uh, demo and I hope you uh, uh, see that it's very easy to use the uh, or module, and if we see traction from the community on this, uh, we for sure will put more effort on expanding it, and let's see how it, it goes.